St. Therese of Lisieux, also known as the Little Flower, lived a short but blessed life as a Carmelite nun in France. Her prayerful and humble devotion has made her an inspiration to millions of people around the world. Born in 1873 to religious parents, Therese lost her mother at the age of four. Therese was very sensitive as a child and was often overwhelmed with emotion. A word of criticism or a small loss could send her into tears. Therese prayed for Jesus to stop these outbursts, and she eventually developed an incredible force of will. Asking to enter the convent at the age of 14, she was rejected. Unsatisfied, St. Therese went to the bishop and eventually to Rome, where she attempted to ask the Pope for his intervention. The Vicar General recognized her effort and intervened. Although young, Therese was admitted to the convent. While in the convent, she experienced loss and physical suffering. Despite these difficulties, she remained steadfast in her devotion to Christ and her sisters and never complained. Therese developed tuberculosis and realized she was soon to die. Her suffering was so great her doctor could not believe it. Therese explained that it was impossible for her to suffer because suffering had become sweet to her. When her body was exhumed in 1910, it was said to smell sweetly of the odor of sanctity. She was canonized in 1925. St. Therese continues to intervene for all those who suffer. Her devotion, The Little Way, and her autobiography, Story of a Soul, are among the most popular Catholic books in the world. St. Therese of Lisieux is the patron saint of the missions. Her feast day is on October 1st.